Okay, welcome back. And as you can see today, we've got this fella here. He's uh, needs a bit of a clean up. He's a talker. He's a bit a bit of a slow talker. Uh, he come with two mismatched boots, one foot missing, but they did throw in an extra leg. So what I'm going to do is stick this in boiling water, and we're going to try and separate all this so let's try that now so as you can see it's boiling water and uh, I'm just going to leave that sitting there for a few minutes and then I will restart the camera and we'll see if it's uh, any more malleable because what you've got basically in here is a peg going from the from these from this joint here up which connects into the knee socket which connects to the body so that's a two-part piece hopefully we can get it apart and show you I've seen other people replacing feet a gaming toy boy just literally chopping into the plastic I just want to see if there's another way of doing it without cutting into the plastic and peeling it off to get access to that peg um, I think with the hands I've done it this way before you've got to be very careful with the hands not to um, put them in hot water because they will just shrivel up <laughs> I've had that before um, with this it's it might take a while it might take a hairdryer or a few you know goes in the hot water to get it soft enough to be able to pull it apart we'll see anyway okay okay as you can see i've got the the two parts apart <laughs> this is the part that would attach to the um upper thigh inside and it's broken off and that'd be sort of situated in there so with the hot water you can this becomes quite malleable if you're careful you won't break it if you look in there you can see that the peg and i have seen another video i can't remember who it was it was either damien jones or toy ploy something like that and what they do is i think it was toy ploy you get this in like a uh, a vice hold it tight obviously heat it up with a hairdryer as much as you can get get it nice and hot so you dip it in hot water submerge it there for about you know five minutes get it as hot as you can blast it with the hairdryer get it in a vice like that get a drill bit in there and just hammer hammer it out so it pops out and uh, that way you can save the peg that's in here which attaches to here well also just wanted to show this uh, flock cleaning the way you can do it you can do it with a a toothbrush or a um, wire brush I've got one here somewhere but a wire brush might be a little bit too aggressive depending on how the flock is you can see I've started I've removed some here and I just I just like to it's quite therapeutic just teasing it out like this and once you get like a in a nice big enough bit you can just grab on it and it pulls out quite easily the thing with the brushes is it, it kind of spreads it around a bit it's good for getting out small parts of dust and stuff like that for the final going over it but to get all the big clumps out I like to do it like this you can see it's coming out really easily just pull it out and this might be hair it might be god knows <laughs> it could be um the old loft insulation might have been left in a loft for many years or you know just might have been played with a lot and just collected fluff and dust and been left under beds and in lofts and this is just the result I mean, sometimes you can see it's like yellowy stuff like this does look like loft insulation it's very um, 
woolly and stuff. You know, just be careful, you don't want to be inhaling this sort of stuff or it might aggravate your skin if you've got sensitive skin. You might want to wear gloves. Or you might be like, sod this, I'm just going to strip it. In which case, you know, best results I've had are with uh, acetone. Couldn't remember it in the last video. Yeah, it's a nail varnish remover, but it's chemical term, term is acetone. So that's worked. I've heard other people using, I mean, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol works fine. Most interesting one I saw was WD-40. I haven't tried that yet. But uh, yeah, there's lots of different ways of, you know, paint thinner. That might be a bit too strong. Brake cleaner. <laughs> I know Toy Ploys used that in one of his videos for getting rid of, like, uh, heavily painted figures with their... Uh, what type of paint is it? You know, like the old Airfix paints, lead based paints, or so as you can see, it's working, it's coming up, coming up nice. And then you can just finish it off with a brush. The brush does pick up some of it, and you see the fluff. Find the brush that kind of moves it around more than lifting it out, so I like to do it this way. Anyway, just thought I would share this. Uh, see, that's definitely loft insulation by the looks of that. Nasty stuff. Get rid of it. So I've got plenty to do. I don't think there's any bald spots. I think it's just. Just more loft insulation than anything. And uh, I'll come back when that's done and show you the finished results. So I've got a, a wire brush here somewhere. I don't know where I've put it. I was using it for something. Anyway, that might be a little bit too aggressive. So I'll just carry on with this and the toothbrush. And uh, I'll show you the results. Okay, just wanted to show you it pretty much clean. Yeah, it's just using a little pick. And toothbrush. Why is this not? Just this little pick. And the toothbrush, just to gather it up. See it come out pretty clean, there's a few little bald spots. It did lose a little bit of flock with the brushing. That's why I advise not to use anything too strong, a toothbrush will do. You see some bald spots there. And all this fluff, loft insulation come out of his head. So yeah, quite dusty and dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. So, again, watching videos from Toy Poloi has ended up with me ruining two voice boxes so I don't ever really want to attempt making this one work any better um, it's a simple enough thing but once you open those voice boxes up they tend to spring open and bits fly out and if you're not sure what you're doing that's how they get the springs get damaged and all sorts so I'm gonna take my time and uh, with this, I'm going to concentrate on this part, heating it up, make sure it's, you know, very warmed up and getting a screwdriver in there and separating this knee joint. Uh, this bottom part should all come away, leaving just that.
part attached up there, the middle part with the two pegs sticking out either side. So you just got to be careful not to break those pegs and yeah, not break that off from here. And then just wedge that apart and that should all come off in one piece. So that's, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Okay, so finally got the fella all together. Uh, as you can see at the back, or maybe you can't wait here, just here. A little bit of damage. Did kind of put it, do it the wrong way. So uh, take my advice with pinch of salt as always. Um, what I should have done was what I suggested before. Once you've got it apart, so you've got this, these two parts apart, <laughs> you uh, you heat it up, put it in a vise, and whack the peg out with a drill bit down the hole, and then get the foot off, and then that way you've got this part, and you can reassemble it and click it all back together without any damage. But it is what it is. Uh, I was just being. I was kind of being lazy, but it ended up being more work <laughs> doing it the wrong way. But um, yeah, I'm happy how he's looking. He's all together. He wasn't cheap, but he wasn't mega expensive, and it all it all speaks at the proper speed. And all the, the joints are nice and tight hands are in good condition it poses well you know it's all good it's got a bit of damage down here but once he's uh, dressed up you're not going to notice that the head and as shown before it's got a bit of damage to the flock um, and it is painted underneath or the glue's dark whichever way it, it hides any bald spots pretty well and with his uh, his hat on you're not gonna you're not gonna see any of that anyway his eyes are in good condition so yeah really happy with that purchase and repair even though i did damage it a little bit it's uh it's a success and uh yeah thanks for watching hope this has been helpful i will show him dressed up with his uniform and that might be another part or just in a future video i have got Another talker here, I believe. Is he a talker? No, no, one of them was. Let's have a look. We've got this guy here. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is the talker. Another talker I've got. Did have a couple more, but I say I damaged the voice boxes. And um I've got those somewhere, maybe I, I can repair them at a later date. This one talks as well. In single file. Give me some cover. Send out the patrol. What's the password? This one I still think is a little bit slow. What's the password? Actually, no, he's alright. He's okay. So, yeah, happy with that. Got two talkers and one I'll dress up appropriately and this one can just stay as a tank commander. I've shown him before. He's got the custom rifle and the custom painted helmet and weathered jacket, green trousers and he's even got the camo style boots just using the enamel paint that I used on the rifle and the helmet. So yeah, that's just a little look at those. Thanks for watching. As always, uh, take it easy and uh, yeah, enjoy the hobby. It is getting very expensive. There's a lot of people where bidding up items and a lot of people selling 40th uh, anniversary stuff as vintage and just got to be careful some of the ebay listings are a little bit uh, 
misleading they'll say vintage and 40th in the same sentence which you know technically vintage is vintage 70s not 40th there you go that's it thanks for watching again bye bye